In this lesson, we'll cover copy monitoring specifically for levels and grids. What is copy monitoring? Copy monitoring is a tool allow you to monitor various elements from one project to another. For example, the project we have in now is our MEP project. So we want to link in the uh, architect's model and monitor the levels between projects. So the first thing we would like to do is we want to go to the insert tab and we want to link the it. And then we'll select our architect model that we're using here. But first, the first thing before we do this, let's cancel this. Let's have a look at the levels in our current project. Very important step here. Uh, so let's go down to our east mechanical elevation. And here we'll see we have our levels up in our model, in, in our mechanical. So the actual name for each level, one is level one and one is level two. Now let's scroll back up into the project browser and let's go back to our first floor, first, first floor plan. We're going to go back to the first floor. So now we want to link in our architect's Revit model. And to do that, we'll go to Revit Link and we'll select. And I have mine set here. And I'll pick up uh, uh, I'll browse to this architect model right here. And it'll be the architect's model, and then it'll be origin of origin, and then I'll click open. This will ensure that the uh, projects are aligned origin to origin when you do origin to origin. So now, what we, what appears is our architect's model. It's linked in. Something like what we do in AutoCAD as an XREF. It's, it's a picture or a link model. So now, let's take a look at our levels. So in the project browser, we can go back to our East Mechanical Elevation. Now this time we go to this, we'll see that we have additional levels here along with our actual architects projects. So if I zoom in around these levels, the MEP project is our level one, our level two that we still see. And then these additional levels, first floor, second floor, roof, those are actually the levels from the architect's model. Now we want to use copy monitor to monitor any changes. Okay, but first stop before we do that, we have some discrepancies. The level names don't match. And level two doesn't match the second floor from the architect's project in height. So really what we want to do, we will need to rename our levels to match the architect's project. And we also should align them so that they have the same height. And I'm going to rename each level. I'm going to click on the level one. Wait a second here. I'm going to click on it. Okay, wait a second. There it goes again. Okay, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to rename this first floor. Okay, hit the enter key. I'm going to level two, click level two, second floor. Now, sometimes when you rename floors and levels, it always asks you, you want to rename to corresponding levels. Normally you say yes, but in this case we say no, because what would happen if we say no is, for example, if you look at our view names that we already have set up or in our project browser, we got one dash mechanical, and if they say rename, they'll change the 
what we have laid out here. So we'll just rename the levels. Now the next step is to change the height. So on the second floor where it says 10 foot, and we want to change that to 12. And there. Well, now we have our move that level up to this line and it's in line with each other. So now that they're named the same and they're aligned, now we can use copy monitor to monitor these. To do that, let's go to the collaborate tab on the ribbon. And then over toward the right, you'll see an icon that says copy monitor. And there's two options on the drop down. One says use curl contract and the other says select link. So we're going to use select link. And then it's going to prompt me to pick whatever model we linked in. In this case, it's the architect's model. So I'll select the link. And I'll select it. And you'll see. And then once we do that, we'll see this we'll see these copy monitor phase of, of this project to make modifications. Now to set what levels we're modeling from the architect's project to our project, click monitor on the ribbon. Once you click monitor, it prompts me to select the level in my project. So I'm going to left click that. And then I'll click the level that corresponds. And then I'll click that one. The two are now bound together. Let's do the same thing for the second floor. So the second floor level. And then I'll select the, the thing from the architect's prop model. I'm going to click it. Let's click it. Now these two are all bound together. Now at this point, we could just end the copy monitor. And these levels are now monitored. But there's another level here called roof. So we don't need to monitor every level all the time, but if you wanted to monitor the roof, since we don't have a roof, let's just use the copy button here. I click copy. I can select the roof from the architect's model. It'll make a copy of the roof into our current MEP project to monitor. So now these options are all set for copy monitor. Last step is to simply click finish. So now if the architect's model changes, uh, when I link it in, I'll be notified when there are discrepancies between the architect's levels or grids and what I currently have here in my MEP project. So as a review, what we learned is how to use the copy monitor to monitor levels and grids from a link rivet MEP project with the architect's project. We set up levels so that they link from one project to another, and then we turn it on monitoring. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, we're going to carry on. If you like this video, like it. If you have any questions, uh, please leave me in the comment section. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, this is a great group of people that subscribe to this channel. Thanks again and bye.